Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of UCN News. I'm Kyle Weavers. Here's what's in the headlines for today. We'll look at a BVU service trip that was taken during spring break. The BVU choir performed in New York and Boston this past week. The university held an introductory press conference for BVU's president-elect, Dr. Joshua Merchant. And finally, we'll catch up with the BVU baseball program as well as interview with coach Steve Eady. Let's go ahead and get started with AWOL and their dedication to service. Alternative week of off-site learning, AWOL, has been providing BVU students an opportunity to travel on service trips during spring for the past 16 years. Students learn about different cultures while working on to create the habit of lifelong service. One of the AWOL groups went to New York, New Orleans to spend the week working with the center to look at social, economic, environmental, and racial justice issues that the city faces. The group of students spent the week traveling around New Orleans, volunteering with various organizations, working with community members who still need assistance cleaning up after Hurricane Katrina, and taking in the vast amount of culture that the city had to offer. If you have an interest in taking a spring break trip with AWOL next year, please contact them through their Facebook page at BVU AWOL. The BVU Choir traveled to New York and Boston for their spring break trip. While there was an abundance of sightseeing done during the trip, it was their performance at the prestigious Carnegie Hall, which was the highlight of their entire trip. The opportunity first presented itself to the BVU Choir after their award-winning performance on last year's spring break trip to Italy. Led by director Dr. Marin Geis, the group has been practicing for this performance ever since the beginning of the school year. The choir was able to perform twice at Carnegie Hall. The first performance was a solo group performance, and the second performance was with multiple choirs as they sang Schubert in Mass G. In their, in their free time, the choir members were able to explore New York and visit numerous landmarks. If you would like to see the choir perform, you can do so at their year-end spring concert performance in the first weekend in May. With the academic year ending, that means the transition process of President-elect Dr. Joshua Merchant is beginning. On Wednesday, BVU held a press conference for Dr. Merchant in which he addressed the BV community. Dr. Merchant's motivation, enthusiasm, and energy was apparent during the press conference when talking about assuming the responsibilities of president. Uh, I, I think in terms of how can we connect the university and the community, and I, I'm looking to exploring those opportunities and learning more about the community um, because I know what liberal arts need in order to survive, and that's you know communities that support them, regions that support them. He spoke about the current transition process he is undergoing. Dr. Merchant was already addressing some of his early goals as president. In particular, Merchant discussed that he wants to learn all he can about the BV and Storm Lake communities in hopes of building meaningful relationships. I think there are opportunities. I, I'd like to learn more. I will tell you, I don't know everything. And so I'm going to work in partnership with this group of individuals and the faculty and the staff um, and the community. And, I, and I'm going to do that in a fashion, though, that's going to really try to understand history to help to predict the future and make decisions for the future. I think that's what good liberal arts people do. Dr. Joshua Merchant will become the 18th president of BVU and will begin his role July 1st of 2017. The BVU baseball season is fully underway at this point. With a record of 9-7, the Beaver season is off to a good start. We go now to UCN News reporter Chris Haberman to get an in-depth look at the baseball program. Good games and our bad games, but at the same time, what you're going to see is a respect for the game, a respect for the umpires, a respect for the other team, and we're going to do things with class. In the meantime, our students get a great education here. They're going to have a job when they leave, and along the way, we're going to have a great time. My name is Steve Eady. I'm the head baseball coach here, and uh, my first year here was 2001, and um, I've loved every minute of it. You know, I think it's an expectation that we do things with respect, and that we can play hard, but we can respect our opponents, we can play as hard as we want, and at the end of the day, you're either going to win or you lose, and that will never change. So the best way to do it, I think, is to just play it the right way. We want our guys to be great in every aspect of their life, not just on the baseball field, but it's in the classroom, in the dorms, around their friends, whatever it is, be as, as great as you can be. 
Cam Johnson is a perfect example of having good guys and good players in the program and guys that are motivated to get better. Coach Eddie and I, we have a growing relationship and it's always, you know, just kept getting better and better. When I was a freshman, we had a good relationship, but I wasn't on the varsity team, so I wasn't around him as much. Um, but he was always, you know, kind and respectful and nice. He's captain this year, so, you know, I couldn't be more proud of him, the type of career he's had, you know, the level of respect that his teammates have for him. You know, this is, uh, to this point, one of his defining moments. We have a respect factor for each other. We both respect what we do, and, you know, I can bounce things off him. He bounces things off me. Like, if I have a problem or something, I have, you know, I feel 100% comfortable going to talk to him. And um, if he has a question about, you know, something maybe that's going on on the team, he can come to me. And I feel like we just have a, we're pretty comfortable talking to each other, so it's a pretty good relationship. Well, I think that's life in general is about relationships. It's not necessarily about the things you do, it's the people that you do it with. And that's what I love about BBU is the people that I work with on a daily basis, not only our players, but colleagues within the athletic department and faculty members across campus. You know, we start the relationship building through the recruiting process. We always try to involve parents so we can kind of get a grasp of what type of people they are and where they come from and to make sure they're a good fit for us. I think probably the, the best part of my job is that we deal with a lot of great people and the relationships don't end when they graduate. Tate Holmes, you know, is a freshman from Kansas City area. I remember about a year ago he came for a visit and we immediately hit it off really well. I came on my visit, my official visit. Coach Sanka and uh, Coach Paletta and Coach Edie were all there to meet with me and kind of guide me through what Buena Vista is all about. And I, I kind of fell in love from there. He might have been on campus the longest of anybody we've ever had because we just kept talking about philosophy and life on campus and what he's experienced down in the Kansas City area. I believe he was here for like six hours on his visit. It was fantastic. So the relationship began really for me there. We have a really good relationship. Uh, he kind of tells me like what I need to improve on and I take it and I, I like the way like his, he criticizes me and uh, it's nothing like too harsh, but you know, he wants you to get better. You know, that's why I'm here, play baseball. What makes BB special in general is that we're all on the same team and we cheer and support everybody else. I can remember as a freshman, you know, it, it instantly I was in, you know, a brotherhood of guys that liked playing baseball and, you know, none of us get scholarships to play baseball, but we're here, you know, because we love the game of baseball. It'll be the time of your life. I made best friends here that I'll have for life that play baseball, and it's because we go out and compete every day. We win together, we lose together. Um, and it's, it's just a real good family atmosphere. Today's guest is BVU's baseball head coach, Steve Eady. How are you doing today, coach? Great, Kyle. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, so talk to us a little bit about where you're at in terms of your season. Yeah, um, we just finished up with our spring break trip, which pretty much concluded our non-conference season. Okay. Um, and then we, we, while we are down there, we, we opened up our uh, conference season with Luther. So uh, we are three games into our conference season, but um, after this coming weekend, we'll be about halfway, to, halfway throughout our season. And um, we've learned a lot about ourselves and um, had some really good games and some not so good games. So we're trying to figure out how to be a little bit more consistent. And uh, we've got a big, big weekend with University of Dubuque coming up. Yeah, so tell me a little bit more about that spring break. You know, you guys went down to Arizona, and you had quite a few games down there. So talk to me about uh, yep. your, your trip down there. Yeah, we went to Tucson. It's our kind of our home away from home during spring break. Uh, had a majority of our parents that went down to watch us play, and we played uh, six non-conference games, and then we opened up our conference season with a three-game series against Luther. Um, you know, it went pretty well. We had, we had uh, a tough schedule. Uh, we had played two teams that made it to regionals last year, and we did we hung in there with them, and and uh, went two and one against those teams, and um, you know we, we we saw some really good things. There's no doubt about that, and it was a chance to get it, you know, a lot of guys have some experience and, and get their feet wet, so that we can, you know, prepare into prepare for the conference season, which is which is everything for us. Good, and you, and you had mentioned you opened up conference play down there in Arizona, taking two or three games from the defending conference tournament champs, Luther. Yeah. How big of a start uh, was that for you guys to start off Iowa Conference play with a series win? Yeah, like that that, that was, a, was a really good series. There were a lot of good pitchers out on the mound. Um, the conference pitcher of the year, we ended up beating. Uh, Jacob Hadaway threw a great game against him, and, and our bullpen was really good as well. So we came back. Uh, did, we're down 2-1 to one going to the bottom of the seventh and, and somehow rallied against uh, one of the best pitchers in the league, and that was a really good win. And those Friday night games are going to be are going to be tight with two good arms going. And then... You know, Saturday, uh, again, two good pitchers going, Jake Lewis on our side and, and Cody Reimer on their side. And, and we, Jake Lewis was 
as good as I've ever seen him. He had a shutout going in through the seventh inning, and, and we scored. We made the most of our opportunities, and, and so we really, really played well, and all the way through until about the middle of that second game, and then the wheels kind of fell off. We dropped that last one, but to beat a, a quality team like Luther with such good pitching, knowing how inexperienced we are as a lineup, I, it, was, it was a great way to start the season. Good, and, and you mentioned your pitching, and your bullpen was really well, uh, did really well down on that trip. To, what else is something that your team's doing really well right now, and what's, what's the one thing that you're trying to focus yeah, on? Yeah, well? I, think, uh, I think knowing going into the season, I, I felt like we had good starting pitching, and I thought our defense would, be, uh, would play really, really you know, mm -hmm. solid behind those guys, mm -hmm. and that hasn't quite happened yet. We've had some clunkers of games is my favorite term right now, and, and we got to clean that up. And if, mm -hmm. I think we can, um, but if we do, we'll, we'll be really solid because the guys that we didn't really know a lot about, the bullpen guys, have done a really, really good job, mm -hmm. and they are further along than what we probably expected. Good. So we, we have to be consistent. Mm -hmm. We pick up the defense a little bit. Um, I think we can get on a little bit of a roll here. Yeah. Consistency is the name of the game there in baseball. Exactly. So, thanks so much for joining me today, Coach. It's always good to see you, and uh, best of luck to you and your team. On the 31st, as you continue Iowa Conference play, the game against the Dubuque Spartans. And best of luck to you the rest of the season as, the rest of the season as well. Very good. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, that's all the time we have for today. If you have any suggestions for stories that you think we should cover for our next show, go ahead and contact us on Facebook at UCN Studios. All of us here at UCN, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. I'm Kyle Weavers, and you've been watching UCN News. Good night, Beaver Nation.